watching. Uh, so Drake may maybe not ready for prime time. You know who is? Oh. It looks like oh. Bo Nix. Yeah. Ballsley tweets us, says, Bo Nix wrapping up the weekend against the Packers. The precision passing capped off with a touchdown was amazing to watch. Even when he stepped over the line for the first touchdown, the playmaking during it was promising. Agreed. He said it right at, at Ballsley. All right. I mean, first off, he won the starting quarterback job, in my opinion, right there. Hmm. I, I would be shocked if we don't hear in the next few days where Sean Payton just goes, Bo Nix is our starter. We've liked what we've seen. We're going with it, right? It's two big-time performances in a row. Again, back to our Caleb Williams, Jaden Daniels, Drake May com- conversation. Look how they called the game for Bo Nix. There's no limitations. Checks, do this, do that. Every play, we don't care. You can handle it, right? Has a different feel from the Drake May thing. Has a feel already of like a guy that you're going like, wow. I mean, he seems like he's, you know, in control of the offense. Really knows what Sean Payton wants. Wants to do all that, right? So that's the beauty of that, number one, is that he's going to be able to handle the genius of Sean Payton and all he can throw at the quarterback. Secondly, how could you not like the physical tools? Again, everybody underestimated Bo Nix's ability with his arm. He can throw – like you saw the in-cut he threw to the right. You've seen some of the throws running to the left along the sideline. His arm is, is really good. I'm not saying it's as strong as Caleb Williams or maybe even Jaden Daniels, but it's not that far off, right? Mm-hmm. And then you see the playmaker. He's a really great athlete. I'm, uh, as we said during the draft process, other than Caleb scrambling behind the line of scrimmage to find a throw, Bo Nix is the best in this class of doing it. And you've seen that twice in this, twice so far. His ability to, oh, Sean Payton, it's you know 372, Y6Z spot. Okay, I got it. They, they, they roll, roll to cover two. Okay, I got to play this side. Okay, boom, boom, boom. He, he knows what he's looking at. His body's in the right position. His mechanics are great. The ball comes out quick. The ball comes out exactly where he wants it to go. More times than not, it's almost always hitting the bullseye. He's got an extremely quick release. So he can do all the stuff Sean Payton wants. And then when Sean Payton's play doesn't work, he can go, all right, we'll go be Bo Nix. I saw you do it at Oregon. Make a play. Scramble. Do something. And we're seeing that. And that, to me, definite starter, just like Jaden Daniels. And, um, yeah, it, made me, it, made yeah. Me, it was cool to see the other night. He's, he's a little different than Caleb. It's not as flashy. It's surgical. He's going to do it that way. Right, he's gonna like. Oh, he's open by half an inch. I can throw it right here on his shoulder, which is and what put we, it where you want. We saw at Oregon, right? He exactly. was surgical. It was almost you it's know Drew Brees ish. Exactly, he's yep. Drew Brees Jr. So here's the question: Yeah, can he actually lead all rookies in passing yards if he does win the starting job? So DraftKings has the rookie pass yards leader odds. Yep. And right now, Caleb Williams is the favorite, minus 120. Then you got Jaden Daniels, but Bo Nix, third choice currently. Plus four fifty gives you some value. I would take the. I, I honestly, and I, you know, I think Jaden Daniels is awesome. I think with this right here, I would favor Bo Nix over Jaden Daniels as the year goes on. Jaden might early in the year, but what I worry about with the Washington team is the O line, lack of a running game, right? To where they just don't have enough offense and things to consistently be great on that side of the ball. Yeah, I guess is what I worry about. Bo Nix. You know, with Sean Payton and what he does there, right? I mean, he could put up some numbers here. I I wouldn't be surprised by that. I wouldn't. You know, the Jaden Daniels one is the hard one just because, wait, they might not be very good. Their defense might not be very good. It might be lead to him throwing the ball a lot. But it also might be, hey, they're not very good. They can't protect very good. They can't run very good. And people are just ready for them to throw and do some of their Cliff Kingsbury stuff, and they're all over it. Mm -hmm. So I don't know where that goes, but – the Bo Nix one, if you got an extra few dollars in your couch cushions or something, that'd be the one I'd throw my money at with right there. Plus 450. Good yeah. value there, yeah. too. Uh, Draft, Kicks, uh, Draft King Sportsbook. See, this is the first oh, week gosh. back. See, right here. get out of France. Get the parlez-vous français out of your mouth. Uh, right? Draft King Sportsbook is the number one place to bet touchdowns, and new customers can bet $5, get $200 in bonus bets instantly, plus... Get one month of NFL Plus Premium. Wow. wow. Get okay. NFL Plus Premium? All right. Download the app. Use the promo code UNBUTTON when you sign up. DraftKings Sportsbook. Sportsbook. The, the crown, crown is, is yours. yours. All wow. Right. All right. We'll get this. Damn. We'll get this. Damn. What if you're, they're not a sponsor? You're like the veteran who hasn't been at training camp for like three weeks. We but gotta, but I, I I mean, it doesn't take we do, too long. We, just, we do it together all the time. 
Damn you. It doesn't take me long to get back into shape, though. So okay. next week I'll be going and be like, oh, you never even missed one workout. I need to send you over the corner and do some up downs <laughs> for n- messing that up right there. All right. Yo, 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 what's up? Thanks for watching, homies. You know it's the off season, but there's no off season with Chris Sims on button. We're, it's the NFL. It goes all year around. All right. So s- hit subscribe, please, to hear my thoughts on your favorite team, your favorite quarterback, and hey, how this season might unfold as we get ready for the 2024 season we got a better picture clearer look now now that the draft is over free agency we know who's playing quarterback for certain teams so again thanks for watching and remember to subscribe peace out homies check you out soon